at ShaneStars with DroidModRx.com. Today I'm going to show you guys the ROM that I'm running currently on my Galaxy Note 2. This is Jelly Beans build number 7 by Beanstown 106. Now I have strayed away from this ROM. I've run AOSP ROMs like CM10 and AOKP. I've even run some custom ROMs like uh, the Clean ROM. I've even run some custom ROMs like the Clean ROM by Scott's ROMs. And I always come back to this. And this is one of the hottest ROMs for the Galaxy Note 2 and it's for good reason. There's something to be said about performance, stability, and battery life. And uh, even something else to be said about having all those things with customizations and being able to have all the touch with functionality that you need. One of the unique things about this ROM is that it includes the Aroma installer. We'll get into that later on in this review whenever I show you guys how to install it. Uh, but basically it allows you to pick and choose the applications that you want, uh, including stock Android and also TouchWiz applications. You can pick and choose the ones that you do want and the ones that you don't want. Uh, so you can make it as AOSP as you want and you can make it as TouchWiz as you want. As you guys can see, mine looks really AOSP. Uh, we're going to go over the features list for this ROM. And uh, it is packed full of features. If you guys have ever run a Beanstown ROM, then you already know that. So I think I already said that this ROM is based off of Scrollers Deodex over the air VR ALL4. So if you accepted that over the air, then chances are you won't be able to run this ROM because there's no way to unlock your bootloader right now uh, because Verizon patched that up. You know how nice they are. Uh, if you're currently running a custom ROM and you have not accepted the over-the-air, this is the perfect way to get on VR ALL4. So you can have all the benefits of the over-the-air update without losing your unlocked bootloader, which is pretty cool. So if we go into settings and about phone, we'll see that we're running Jelly Beans Build 7. And uh, he has a couple of kernels to choose from in the Aroma installer. I chose to go with the... Uh, beans kernel because it has his tweaks and hacks included in that kernel and uh, it doesn't include any performance options so you won't be able to overclock with that kernel but he's already got it really tweaked uh, to his liking and for me that's good enough it also has support for his custom boot animation which I like so I went with his stock kernel also in the settings menu you have custom settings so there's some things that you can uh, change up here like the toggle settings uh, you can choose the widget buttons that you would like, so whenever you pull down the widgets here, you can choose the ones that you want and the ones that you don't want there. Uh, you have your brightness modes and also your sound modes there that you can change. You can change, I didn't show you guys that, but you can change the widget button order as well, which is nice. And then there's the battery bar setting. So if you guys are familiar with Miyui, uh, you know that it has a battery bar. You can change the battery bar here. I opened it and chose the height of one and you see that it appeared there. If we don't want it to show, we'll just uncheck it and when we back out, it'll eventually disappear. It takes it a couple of seconds to disappear, but probably before this video ends, it will go away. So another thing I like about Beans Build is that he has rethemed it. It's looks a whole lot more like AOSP. You don't have the oranges and blues that you get with TouchWiz. Uh, it is, you know, black and blue like with Jelly Bean or Ice Cream Sandwich. He's enabled Verizon's mobile hotspot, so we can go to Settings, More Settings, Mobile Hotspot, and we can go to Configure, and you'll type in whatever password you want here, or you can go with No Password, and then just turn that on and select OK. And now your hotspot is activated and it does work, which is really cool. This eliminates the need for the Trevi mod uh, hotspot application. So all of the unnecessary notifications like your Wi-Fi notification, your GPS notifications, those have all been removed so they're not going to pester you. He's added the ringtones from CyanogenMod and also my UI. So uh, I prefer those over the TouchWiz water droplets and wind and things like that. The 1% battery mod is included. You can see that there. Uh, he's done tons of build dot prop tweaks. He's done all kinds of tweaks and mods to make this thing just perform better. And it really does just move very smoothly and fluid. If you're playing music, you can long press the volume button to skip tracks. All apps are included in the multitasking mode. So if we hold that, all your apps are included here, which is a really nice modification. If we get the pop-up window here, we can actually resize this. He's also included all of the Jelly Bean wallpapers. So those are all here and also the TouchWiz wallpapers are there as well. 
And he's also included a couple of custom launchers, Nova Launcher and the Apex Launcher, or you can just go with the standard TouchWiz Launcher. So there are your TouchWiz wallpapers. So guys, that is pretty much all of Beans Build 7. Just a very fluid ROM, stable with great battery life, and uh, just enough customization options to really make your phone your own. So now we're going to go ahead and install this ROM. Be sure to head to the link in the description and grab that download. And uh, we'll go ahead and boot into our bootloader. So we'll go to restart and recovery. Sorry, we're booting into recovery, not bootloader. If you're running a stock ROM, the way that you would get there is volume up home and power that'll get you to recovery once you're in recovery you're gonna wipe factory reset swipe to wipe I'm not gonna do it now because I already have it installed uh, swipe to wipe cache swipe to wipe Dalvik cache I would suggest wiping data uh, and cache and Dalvik cache if you're coming from an earlier build of beans uh, because we're going to a new version of uh, Android so the VR ALL4 I would just suggest because we're kind of upgrading, we're updating to that, that you go ahead and wipe everything just so it's a clean install. Then we'll go to install and we're looking for Note 2 Jelly Beans Build 7. All of the GFs are included, so Aroma Installer is going to pop up and we're going to select all the stuff that we want to select. There's a nice little image. Thanks, Beans Town, for that. That was sarcastic, by the way. You have your change log here and you can read through all that. It tells you everything that's been updated in Beans Build 7. Uh, here we can do our modifications. We can choose the center clock, which is what I like. AM, PM style, I choose to remove that altogether. The battery style, I prefer the ICS blue circle with percentage. Color toggles, I like the cayenne. Number of toggles shown, I'll go with the most amount, the seven. Torch on lock screen, I've got that on. I didn't show you guys that during the review, but from the lock screen, you can press and hold the home button and that'll bring up the torch which is really neat email client selection i'll just go with the stock i don't really use exchange uh, launcher settings we'll go with nova file manager i'll go with both sms i'll go with aosp i'll actually go with inverted aosp because i like the blacked out look keyboard selection i'm going to go with android 4.2 keyboard because i like the gesture based swiping that comes with that. Music selection, I'm going to go with CM10's Apollo. UI sounds, AOSP, that's what I'm going to go with because I personally don't like the uh, TouchWiz UI sounds. Call recording, I'll have that off. One thing I like about his aroma installer is he actually explains all the little features. You'll see that he explains everything uh, underneath each feature, which is really neat because a lot of the a lot of developers don't go uh, as far as to explain everything, but it's really nice to have that explanation there in case you don't know what he's talking about. Google Apps, I'll go with all of the Google Apps there. Samsung Apps, I don't need Paper Artist. And I'll, I really don't need S Calendar because I have a Google Calendar. You know what, I'll just go ahead and keep it. Don't need any of the Verizon bloatware. And I don't like to block ads, personally, because I'm a creator. We'll go with Beans Kernel. If you wanted to overclock, you could go with the Perseus, but I just prefer Beans Stock Kernel because it has all of his tweaks and optimizations built in. And we'll go to the next. Now it's going to go ahead and install the ROM. So we'll just wait here for the next five minutes or so. As soon as it's finished, it'll give you the option to reboot. So when it's finished, you, you'll see this screen here. We'll just go to Next, Finish, and then we'll Reboot System. And I'll leave you guys with the boot animation. Guys, this has been Beans Build 7 for the Galaxy Note 2. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. You can find more of me at droidmodernist.com where I'll have the latest in Android and tech news. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for more coverage on the Galaxy Note 2 and other devices. Thanks guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.